If you've been wanting to get a hundred thousand dollar job as an email developer, you need to watch this video. Okay. So listen guys, in this video, I want to go in and show you guys some of the best jobs that you guys should be applying to right now as an email developer. And again, this is for beginners and also too, for those of you guys that have been riding with your boy here on coding face and already got a job and you're looking to get your second or your third job. This is that moment where you level up and start getting to a hundred thousand dollar positions. Okay. So in here, I'm just going to go in and show you guys some of the jobs that I believe that all of you guys should be paying attention to. All right. So of course we are indeed.com, right? Shout out to indeed. And this is one of the positions that I've seen. Uh, that always pops up, which is from Urban Outfitters, right? They're constantly hiring for email developers. So all of you guys that um, are looking to get your first role, definitely come in and apply to this position. Again, all of the things that they're asking for is exactly what we taught you at codingphase.com. So again, free people, email developer, that's the title of the job listing. And I'm probably going to go in and add all of this job listings on the description of this video so you guys could get started and start applying directly. Okay. Now, the next one that we have here is from um, basically W Promote, right? Email lifecycle marketing coordinator. Again, $55,000, $65,000 a year. Whenever you see this pay range, this is beginner friendly. This is a position that they will hire someone who doesn't have experience but can demonstrate that they can do the job okay this is the range where someone starts at from 50 all the way to like 75 that's like the 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 happy medium where you know for sure hey i could go in and apply to this role and if i have the skills and i can demonstrate those skills in the interview right and through my projects i'm going to go in and get that position okay so definitely go check them out right WP, uh, WP, no, W remote, <laughs> W promote, man, I can't talk today, <laughs> but definitely again, this is one position, 55 to $65,000 a year. Another one that is very interesting. Uh, I know, uh, at least two people that have actually worked with this company called Sherwin Williams. They're actually doing email marketing developer, right? Again, they have a little higher range, 69 to $87,000 a year. Of course, depending on experience, depending on uh, what type of skills you have, right? Um, again, responsibilities, build HTML emails for DIY, wholesale marketing campaigns, okay? Effectively use existing HTML email templates, okay? Uh, to the maximum efficiency and timelessness, meaning that, hey, we already have a bunch of templates, right? That have to be used. And we want you to use this templates, of course, customize them whenever we need some uh, customization, right? Uh, but again, build the emails with what they already have, understand and follow up on email compliance standards, right? Test and troubleshoots the emails, okay? Again, one year of relevant experience, that's what they're going to throw in there. Uh, but again, if you are a brand new developer and you're looking for this new opportunity, this is one of the companies that I would definitely uh, apply. Uh, again, I know two people that have worked with this company. So yes, they're beginner friendly, right? So the next one that we have right here is email specialist, corpse team services. Okay. This one again is 49 to $51 an hour. This is a contract job. Don't get scared about contract jobs, guys. This is always good. Okay. Not only can you get this type of position, but then at the same time, you can go in and basically, you know, if you live in this area, again, they're looking for someone who is going to be doing like hybrid mode, meaning that you're going to come into the office three days out of the week. So if you are in the Minneapolis area, this is a given for you guys. Okay. I know I trained you guys. I know what skills you guys have. Yeah. I need to be applying to this type of roles and don't be scared. Yes. We all want a remote position or full-time remote position. But again, you know, this is where you get a leg above everybody else that don't want to go into the office. Hey, take the hit, go into the office. You're getting paid pretty well, $49 to $51. I mean, you do the math on that, right? You Let's say you come in, you do uh, $49 times, let's say 40 hours a week, right? That's 1960, uh, you know, on a weekly basis times, let's say, I don't know, let's say, let's say 20 weeks, 
right? That's $40,000, okay? 20 weeks. Um, again, they're looking for a five month con five months contract uh, or more, right? So it could be more, right? But if you average it up, right? Let's say this was a full time job, you basically will be making around, let's say, 49 times 40 times 52 weeks. It will be like a $101,000 job position. Again, it's a contract job, so it might be like five, six months, or maybe nine months. So you probably still make around, you know, fifty thousand to eighty thousand dollars on this one contract alone. So it's not bad. Okay, so definitely go check it out. Uh, the next one that we have here is Junior Frontend Web Developer uh, Sales Labs X. Okay, this is fully remote. Um, again, this is for a junior position, but Again, they're focusing on email development, okay? So this is something that you want to go in and apply to. Whenever you see positions that they're focusing on, on junior developer, right? And the fact that you are coming in with a specialty or you're specializing in email development, you got legs above everybody else that is a junior front-end developer. There's a bunch of people that are junior front-end developer, they've been doing the React, they've been doing the Next.js, they've been doing, you know, a bunch of JavaScript, but they have no knowledge of anything when it comes to email development, okay? So you showing up to here and applying to this type of role with the background of, hey, I know email development, I can create responsive emails, I can do the testing, check out my portfolio, check out my projects. And of course, if you've been following everything that I've told you, you should be good uh, to get your interview, which is the most important part. And then from there, just make sure you go in there confident and explain exactly what you're able to do for them. Okay. Fully remote, fifty to $55,000 a year. It's a junior position. Okay. Whenever you see that type of range, that lets you know, hey, beginner friendly. The next one that we have right here, email marketing developer, right? Again, this is the same one that we had from before, uh, the Sherwin Williams, the uh, this one is a website support specialist. This is like a very low paying position. But for those of you guys that right now just don't have a job and for whatever reason you cannot find a job out there, um, it could be, hey, I'm a front end developer. Hey, I'm an email developer. Hey, I'm a content editor. Guys, take the position. Even if it's something as low as this, right? You could go in and start building experience. You could go in and say, hey, I'm going to work here for, let's say, three months, four months, six months, right? And then from there, continue applying to other positions. And when they see that now another company have taken the risk of hiring you on that first position, right? Now it's going to be much easier for you to get to those roles that's making, you know, 65, 75, 85 thousand dollars a year but it's better to make some type of money than not making anything i know some of you guys are not working right now are not bringing in no income and basically this right here will help you out or even if you have like a bs job right <laughs> what i call a bullshit job let's say you're working at wow wow you're working at i don't know retail some somewhere right guess what you're probably making more money doing this than actually working that bullshit retail job where there is no future there, okay? Um, so again, full-time remote position. They're only taking for Arizona, uh, Florida, I think, uh, Michigan, North Carolina, Nevada, Ohio, Oklahoma, PA, uh, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, Washington, Wyoming, right? So they're not taking from everywhere, but if you're in the States, guess what? You should be applying to it. It's a good position to get you started, okay? Build some experience, right? And what you're doing is basically helping, uh, you know, their customers probably, you know, Dr. Logic, if I'm not mistaken, is a company uh, that does like basically email marketing, not email marketing, but marketing in general and just like helps uh, doctor's offices go in and build their websites, Right. So sometimes there might be like a doctor or like a doctor's office that, hey, we want to change this on this page, but we don't know how to do it. Guess what? Your job will be to provide support for them. And it could be either through the phone or it could be through the emails. Right. Again, this is an entry level position um, coming with that mentality of like, hey, 
from here, you can go in and basically use this as experience, being able to show that you have worked with CMS systems, being able to work with, you know, uh, project management tools, right? Experience with Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, like you're going to build a lot of experience in here that can help you land those positions in agencies and in tech companies. Okay. You got to start somewhere guys. All right. Now the next one that we have right here is Salesforce marketing cloud. Okay. This is for, uh, automation technology, right? 45 to $50 an hour contract work. And again, don't be scared of the contract work for those of you guys that went into the Salesforce, uh, marketing cloud, uh, bootcamp and went to codingphase.com. This is where you go in and you use that. This is when you go in and you flex that, that skill. Hey, yeah, I can use the Salesforce marketing cloud. Hey, I could build any type of campaign that you need me to build. Hey, I could build you any responsive email. Hey, I can take any template that you have and whatever new, you know, updates you want to do to it. We can do it. You get what I'm saying? This is where you flex that 45 to $50 an hour, right? Uh, again, contract work, you know, don't be scared when you see, you know, numbers like this, seven years of experience in the industry, five years of experience in the industry, bro. Most people that have this much experience, they're not taking a 45 and $50 an hour contract job. I'm telling you guys right now. Okay. This is a way to scare people to not apply to it. But the truth is that someone with seven years, five years of experience with, um, you know, marketing cloud, they're not taking a contract job at all for Salesforce. They're working at major companies and they're making a guaranteed 120 and up. Okay. That's just the truth. No cap. Okay. And now let's talk about how to get into Fang, <laughs> right? So of course, Amazon is just part of Fang or Mang, whatever you want to call it or Manga, right? Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes people say, Yo, you can't get a job at a hundred thousand dollars or more. Yo, you can't work at, at you know some of these biggest companies out here. Guys, anyone can do this, okay? If you have experience. For so again, so for those of you guys that have been working, you know, for the past two, three years in the industry, right? Y'all came through the coding phase, y'all learn how to code, right? Y'all learn how to be an email developer, and y'all been working a year, two years in the game. Some of you guys even have three years or more. Guess what? If you're stuck on that range of seventy-five to ninety thousand dollars, this is one of those moments that you can go in and use that experience that you have and those skills that you have to go in and get yourself inside of Amazon. Okay. Once you work at one of these companies, it opens up the doors for every other company that you want. That's the truth. That's why people go in and they flex. I work for Amazon, you know, or I work for, for Google or Fang or whatever. It's like, it's really more like a flex, but it's a flex that is actually true in a sense, because once you have this on your re resume, like you could pretty much apply to any other company. Um, again, they're looking for uh, four years of experience, right? And, and again, if you have two, three years and you can demonstrate your skills, trust me, not everyone knows how to do email development. Not everyone wants to do email development. So you should definitely apply to this uh, type of roles. Again, uh, $121,000 a year. Of course, they give you the little bonuses, then a little uh, relocate. They need you to relocate, et cetera, right? Um, it's a big company, okay? So again, this is a, a great opportunity for those of you guys that want to go in and take it up a notch. And also too, this is a great way for you guys to transition because you could go in and say, Hey, I worked at Amazon as an email developer, right? Let's say you are one of those guys that's studying to become a full stack developer, right? And you say, okay, cool, man, this is the year that I was going to leave email development and I was going to start doing full stack development. Be smart. You don't leave it yet. You go into a company like this and now you play chess with it. Don't play checkers. Don't do what people do here blindly. You could easily go in and use Amazon, right? As your backbone and then use them to now be able to go and get the $200,000, $300,000 full stack developer positions because this is now on your resume. Okay. Trust me. There's ways to finagle your way to the top. That's how people do it. You either play chess or you're going to be a out here working, 
you know, and and, and not really planning out your life and, and your career properly, okay? So it's up to you. But this is what I would do. You get what I'm saying? You know, this is like when people I see people online be like, man, but why don't you work at Fang? I'm like, bro, I could do this at any moment. Like, <laughs> at any moment that I wanted to. Right, there's a lot of positions in roles that I clearly could just get into if I wanted to. You get what I'm saying? But it's not something that I want to do right now. Um, again, uh, I have multiple businesses. I'm doing pretty well for myself. So why would I go in and take a pay cut just to get a badge? It doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, but for you guys that are still building up and you know you're getting into this career now. Guys, use this as a way to go in, get that little BS badge, and go in and, and finagle your way to those two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar jobs. Okay, this is how people go in and, and make some moves. Okay, so yeah, man, for those of you guys that were like, man, you can't get into Fang with with email development. Yes, you can. Every company in the world does email marketing. That's twenty to thirty percent of. The revenue for every company, even the biggest to the smallest, okay? That's a big chunk of money if you really think about it, okay? So again, definitely go check it out, guys. I'm going to put it on the description of this video. And guys, <laughs> you already know, see boy Joe back at it again, okay? Um, again, for those of you guys that's here, I, I'm recording this. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm just going to put it up. You like it, you like it, you don't like it, you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go in and, and remove no uh, no ums, no ahs. We're going to keep it just like this, right? Uh, but again, guys, if you want to learn how to code, guys, there's no better place to come, right? Codingface.com. We pretty much have all the career paths um, that you can start with. Content editor, HTML email developer, front-end developer, uh, PHP developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer, and uh, you know up-and-coming XR developer career path. Um, so again, go check it out, guys. We don't teach coding as a hobby. That's the number one thing that you always got to remember. We don't teach coding as a hobby. That's not what I do. I'm not here for entertainment. I'm here to get your results. I'm here to help you out on your journey. I'm here to give you that support that you need. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely come check out the platform. And by the way, everything on codingphase.com on this month is 40% off. The diamond membership, $60. The gold membership, you know, $12. So literally everything is 40% off right now. Okay. So if you've been wanting to sign up to codingphase.com, this is the moment. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description with all of these job positions because I truly believe that all of you guys that have been coming through Coding Phase and have been following the channel, y'all need to be applying to these job roles. Okay. Um, and again, if you still haven't signed up to Coding Phase, you need to click on the link on the description, on the comment section, get that 40% off, take advantage and get started. Okay. Time flies by. You know, if it takes you two, three months to learn the skill, right? Two, three months to get the position. Guess what? Now you're working by December. Now you're working by January. Again, get started today. Don't leave it for tomorrow. So like that, you could get to your goals and get to the results that you really want. All right, guys. Anyways, today is Monday. We actually have accountability meeting. So I'll see you guys at 7 p.m., which is like two hours from now for those of you guys that are Diamond members. Okay, guys. Listen, I love you guys. Take care. Peace.